Namaste everyone. Today we'll be discussing on how to draw the molecular geometry of SiCl4 which is known as silicon tetrachloride. Okay. So for attaining our answer we have to calculate hybridization of this particular molecule to draw the molecular geometry of the SiCl4. So in order to do to do that we are going to calculate hybridization of this molecule. For that we need to find out the valence electrons of each atom present in this molecule which are silicon and chlorine but chlorine are 4 in number. So for silicon its electronic configuration is the inert configuration of neon and then 3s2 3p2 yeah so it has got 4 ve 4 valence electrons so i'm going to write 4 plus now let's talk about chlorine chlorine has also got a inert configuration of neon and then 3s2 and 3p5 but it now 2 plus 5 is 7 so it has got a 7 it has got 7 valence electrons so i'm going to write 7 here but since we have chlorine 4 in number, there are 4 atoms of chlorine here. So I'm going to multiply the valence electron of chlorine 7 into the number 4. Okay. So 4 plus 28 gives us as 32. Now as I've told you guys innumerable number of times in my previous videos that if we get this value greater than 8, okay, greater than 8, then we divide this num um, number by 8. Okay, so 32 by 8 comes out as 4, which gives us the hybridization sp3, which means its molecular geometry is going to be tetragonal, tetragonal geometry. But let's go back a little. Uh, let's go back a little. See, if this number would have been 8 or maybe 6 or maybe 4, okay, lesser than 8, okay, or maybe equal than 8 then we would have divided it by 2 okay this is the rule for calculating hybridization i'm just telling you so that you don't face any problems while calculating hybridization but since it is 32 which is a larger number than 8 we have divided it by 8 but it would if it would have been 8 then we would have divided it by 2 which would given us 4 also sp3 okay so it doesn't relate it doesn't matter here but just for the sake of knowing and telling okay so our hybridization came out as tetragonal which means that the molecular geometry of SiCl4 is going to be like this SiCl Cl 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 so this shape is called as tetragonal geometry and the angles between each molecule will be 109 degrees I mean the angle between each bond will be 109 degrees this is also going to be 109 degrees and uh, I can show you what ca what is the what, how it actually is in 3d format it's going to be a little tough but I can show see see here uh, on, on in the junction on the junction we have got silicon okay here and on the on, on the junction on the tip of this pen we have got this chlorine on the tip of this pen we have got this chlorine on the tip of this pen we have got this chlorine and on the tip of this pen uh, on the tip on the tip of this pen we have got chlorine okay so they're equally equally angled okay and the and the and the standard angles for a tetragonal geometry molecule is 109 degrees okay can you see that yeah at the junction we've got silicon okay so this was all about the molecular geometry of SiCl4 silicon tetrachloride thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much